We just went and looked at the fire. Is it good? Thank you. <laughs> this is us set for the week. Yeah. Let's go show Daddy the boat. Let's, yeah. <laughs> Come on in. This is normal. <laughs> Taking a crash course in reading charts. <laughs> nearly 8 o'clock in the morning and it is day 3 of our boating adventure. This is where we are right now. It's a little overcast but hopefully it clears right up. Oh hello, are you waking up? Not quite, not yet. So yeah, we're slowly getting into the swing of things being on the boat and I am sort of convinced that I just want to live on a boat now. Chris isn't quite as convinced. He got a little seasick yesterday. But we're not going to do too much traveling today. We're just going to stay in this area around here. We've got a few ideas about what we want to do. So I thought I could bring you guys along for the whole day today and show you what we get up to. These two are playing. Playing with pegs. <laughs> What's this, Aya? I know, cool. You want to try it out today, don't you? Mm -hmm. There's reef. All along here, actually, this is high tide. This is the boat. Around 10 knots in the afternoon and early evening. Seas below one metre, well below half a metre. Where are we going? I think we're here and we'll probably just spend the day at the beach and do the hike around here. Yeah, there's like a, from up there, I think, a really good view of this area, but there's hikes here too. My baby. Oh, you're on, you're on. <laughs> this is Tara. Yeah, good morning there, Tara. Uh, what are your plans for the day and overnight anchorage? Uh, we plan on staying around this area, going over to Whitehaven Beach, uh, and then probably anchoring up again at Hazelwood Island. Yeah, no problem there, guys. Uh, Tara will be taking care of your navigation with that French Shoal and Laguna Rock. Uh, and enjoy your day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, copy that. So this is our skipper. You're all in trouble. <laughs> I'm the deck. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> the <a> baby. Yeah. <laughs> so we are currently on a mooring, which I didn't know what, th what this was a couple of days ago, but I'll show you when we unmoor. Unmoor is <laughs> probably the technical word. <laughs> and we're going snorkeling. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we even make snorkels little enough. I imagine that. I wish they did. <laughs> He'll hang out and we'll watch you. Okay. These guys are playing with the pegs under here now. You no, guys. Who needs toys? <laughs> Should we get ready to head off? Yeah, just after we finish this hide and seek game. Oh, beautiful house under there, Aya. It was a Friday. I swear I've had better days. I was on my and way we're up. to buy. I'm just gonna make a quick brekkie. I'll show you what I come up with. Aya and I are going to have some papaya and chill with this guy. You do it. You have to eat that and then yoga. Mm. That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
that's where we're headed. Ah, oh, switched it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this in better lighting. No, Baba. Nice. Yeah, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so this beautiful thing is how we get around and I don't know how you'd do it without it. That's us and that line is where we're headed. To Tongue, Tongue Island or Tongue Point? Wow, you're crazy. You're a crazy driver. <laughs> All right, we are pulled up and I'm just gonna have a little snack. Hopefully the sun will be out very soon and yeah, we're gonna go on an adventure. Just packing up to head across and Chris touched the custard apple and realized it is right. It is so soft, so we wanna eat it now? Yes, right now. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, that looks so nice. Yum. I don't know if you've ever had one of these, Aya. No. Mm. What's it like? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I also wanted to show you guys down in the cabins. This is one of the bedrooms and the coolest thing. They've got a glass looking out to the water. Look how beautiful that water is. And then each bedroom has a little ensuite, which is this, the toilet, and then this turns into a shower by putting that up there. And that's a shower. Hey. And yeah, there's four of these rooms. All right, let's go. Here you go. Nice work, Aya. beautiful places I have ever seen with my eyes. Yeah, the colors. This is my favorite color. Officially my favorite. <laughs> I've just spotted the beach we're gonna try to get to. Let's get there. Yeah? Okay, so we spotted that little beach and I think we're gonna head back to the boat, move and try to find our way to that private little beach because that would be a dream come true. Best dad ever. Got two babies. No shoes. Hiking with two kids. You! <laughs> I think it's only a short hike. I don't know when we're going to be ready for our first overnight hike together. But I'm going to guess it's a while away. Nice work, team. Hey, kick girls. <laughs> Good work. And we're off. It's so beautiful. Hey guys, so we've had a slight change of plans. We decided to not venture over to that little beach I spotted just because we'd already been out in the tender, the little boat thing, with the kids already and the tides weren't great. It'll work out much better tomorrow morning if we go there. So we're just going to chill on the boat this afternoon and relax. 
weeks, which I'm pretty stoked about. So far, it's been really enjoyable being on the boat. The only thing is that, like, I really wish we knew how to sail. That was what we really wanted to do when we got this boat. But then we realized, you know, there's actually quite a bit to sailing, and we thought, oh, we'll give it a go with using the motor and see how much we enjoy it. And then if we love it, you know, we can try to learn how to sail. Because I just love the idea of just harnessing the natural elements, like the wind, and using that to travel and explore. I love that so much. And obviously it's just so much better for the environment sailing as opposed to motoring around. So we're just kind of going to stay in the one little area and just be on the boat and enjoy it and explore this area instead of going out too far, which is what we tend to do in our bus as well. Just definitely into more slow travel, which is always better with kids anyway. But apart from like the obvious being on water and not on land. It's not so different to being in the bus really, just being together, exploring and getting outside and chasing kids around really. But yeah, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up, a like. It really does support our channel. And I'm going to carry on filming tomorrow when we go on an adventure to that little beach that's secluded because that looked like an absolute dream. So make sure to keep an eye out for that video, which will be coming soon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are happy and well and sending my love. Um, yeah, until the next video. So it turns out cooking in a boat is much the same as cooking in a bus and we have it, the same sort of food. This is dinner. Please, please. Curry with okay. rice and coconut yogurt. Except we have wine on a boat. Look at this. We never have. <laughs> it has... Okay, I want... That one stopped up way too much. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing here? He's playing. He's got a peg. His first thing he's holding. He's joined the peg game. <laughs> Oh, the peg game. It's been a real ripper this oh, trip. Two becomes three. <laughs> Soon you'll be playing two, We go, we go, we go. I love that dance. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>